Hello and welcome to Functional Skills Maths Level 2. In this session, we will be looking at measures, shape and space, specifically calculating actual dimensions from scale drawings and creating a scale diagram given actual dimensions. Now, scale drawings are used to represent larger or smaller objects, drawings, images or maps. And to scale up or down an image accurately, scale factors are used. Scale drawings will be shown with a key or a scale factor, and these tell you what a dimension in the drawing is equal to real life. Usually they're represented as ratios or with an equal sign or as a line drawn as below. So that first one, one centimeter equals 100 meters means that one centimetre on a grid represents 100 metres. Similarly, a ratio of one to 10,000 means that one centimetre on a grid represents 10,000 centimetres in real life. And finally, the distance marked represents 100 metres. So let's look at calculating distances by measuring. Now the scale drawn below shows a section of coastline. Calculate the distance between point A and point B. Firstly, measure the length of the scale using a ruler. Now let's say it's one centimetre. One centimetre on your ruler represents five kilometres in real life. Then we need to measure the distance between point A and point B. In this instance, the distance between point A and point B is 9.5 centimetres. One centimetre on the drawing represents five kilometres in real life. So the distance between A and B in real life is 9.5 times five, which is 47.5 kilometres. Below, there's a map of an island. Calculate the distance between point A and point B. Now there's a number of steps we need to do here in order to get this correct. So we're given a scale as a line drawing so we don't need to use a ruler. Count the number of squares between the two points. And if we look, we can see there are four full squares and two half squares, which is a total of five squares. Now to find the real life distance between point A and point B, we need to multiply the distance represented by one square, which is 500 miles, by the number of squares between the two points. And that gives us 2,500 miles. Now let's look at working out scale. Now you may be asked to find the scale on a map or drawn given a distance. The diagram below is a scale drawn of a classic car. The length of the car in real life is 3.6 meters. We're asked to calculate the scale used in the drawn and give your answer in a ratio. Nor would need to measure the length of the car using the centimetre ruler. And this is very easy on a piece of paper in an exam. On this screen, however, it's slightly different because depending on the size of the screen that you're using to view this session, you'll get a very different answer. So for the purpose of this exercise, let's say the length of the car is six centimetres on the drawing. Both measurements need to be the same unit. So we need to convert the length of the car from 3.6 meters to 360 centimeters. We can now write this as a ratio, which um, if you look at this is six to 360. Now we need to simplify the ratio by dividing both sides by six, which is one to 60. One centimeter on the drone represents 60 centimeters in real life. Now let's look at making a scale drawing. To make a scale drawing, first work out what the dimensions should be. So in this example, draw a rectangle on the grid below of a height of 1.5 meters and a width of two meters using the scale one to 50. Each square is one centimeter by one centimeter for the purposes of this. So the grid's in centimeters, so we need to convert the dimensions of the rectangle into centimeters. So the real height is 1.5 times 100 which gives us 150 centimetres, and the real width is 2 times 100, which gives us 200 centimetres. So 1 to 50 means that 1 centimetre on the grid represents 50 centimetres in real life. 
So now we need to divide the real dimensions by 50 to find the dimensions of the scale drawing. So the real height is 150 divided by 50, which is three centimeters, and the real width is 200 divided by 50, which is four centimeters. So on the grid, in order to get the scale drawn correctly, we need to draw a rectangle that is three by four centimeters. So let's look at a question that you might get in an exam. So you make several craft items which you sell online. One of the items you make is a wooden photo frame. The photo frame is made of a backboard measuring 40 centimeters by 25 centimeters, a top and bottom piece measuring 45 centimeters by five centimeters each, and two side pieces measuring 20 centimeters by five centimeters each. Make a plan of the pieces of wood that will make up the frame. Use the graph paper on the next page to draw the five pieces of wood. Now, for the purposes of this exercise, your workbook has provided you with graph paper, so use that for this exam question. Use a scale of one to five and show any workings out in the box below. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video, have a go at answering the question and press play when you're ready for the answer. Did you get it right? Now there are five marks for this question and you get one mark for each correct drawing in the box. It's worth noting that you should only draw what has been asked of you and nothing additional. So here is a, another example exam question. You're helping to create a new play area at a nursery. The play area needs to be a rectangle that has an area of 54 meters squared. You need to have the following equipment in the play area, and you know that the seesaw measures 2.4 meters by 0.5 meters, the climbing frame measures 2 meters by 3 meters, the sand pit measures 1.8 meters by 3 meters. Each piece of equipment needs at least one meter clearance from the edge of the playing space and other pieces of equipment. First part of the question draw the outline of the play area on the grid below. For the second part of the question, draw and label the play equipment on the play area. There is a planning grid and a box for working on the next page. Draw your final answer on the grid below. And in your workbook, you will have the grid paper that you will be able to use for your answer. Now remember the scale is one meter for every box. So what I'd like you to do is press pause on the video have a go at answering the question and press play when you're ready to see the answer. Did you get it right? Now it's worth noting that there are six marks for this answer. So let's break it down and see what you get the marks for. The first mark you'll get for calculating the length and width for 54 meters squared using the space available. You'll get a mark for creating the outline of the play area on the grid using the correct scale. Drawing the seesaw accurately. Drawing the climbing frame accurately. Drawing the sand pit accurately. And finally, the sixth mark is given if all the above are correct. So let's recap. Scale drawings are used to represent larger or smaller objects, drawings, images, or maps. And you may be given scales in any one of the following three formats. One centimeter equals 100 meters, a ratio one to 10,000, for example, and a distance marked by arrows. Now you can practice the skills you've learned using the worksheets available in the High Field Functional Skills section on our website. Thanks for taking part, and I'll see you on the next session.